Hi guys. This is motherboard of Asus X550 LC. It's turned off and voltages are completely absent. Only the 19 volt is present. And voltage is absent in output of these coils. 3.3 volt should be present in here. And 5 volt should be present in here. Voltage is not present in any other coils either. Apparently nothing overheats. I disconnected power and unplugged adapter. And checked the ohm. And realized that this coil pin or this jack shows 0 ohm with GND. 1.05 volt of all around the CPU has short circuit to GND. Is 1.05 volt related to CPU? Yes, it is. 1.05 has short circuit completely. Then I checked the board view. I realized that many blocks have short circuit. Many of these SLPCB boards have short circuit. Have a look, I disconnected some of them delicately. So that other layers won't be damaged. In fact I soldered them again. As you see there are two SLs. I disconnected them with cutter. And checked the short circuit. There were too many. Which means, 40 or 50 internal pins of CPU had short circuit. All around south bridge block had short circuit, south bridge is combined to CPU. Both 3 and 1.05 volt had short circuit. So many short circuits were related to south bridge, and as both are combined in CPU. I want to remove CPU from the circuit for diagnosing the problem. Maybe solder balls of CPU are damaged. And as there are a lot of short circuits, I thought I could solve the problem with reballing. I want to see if the ball of pins is the problem. Or CPU itself. I'll remove CPU and then test it. I removed CPU with BGA machine. It's a fourth generation CPU. 4200U. I want to check if short circuit is solved or not. I should say that this jack was completely shorted to GND. I place probes on GND and jack. Short circuit of 3 volt is solved. I check it with both ways. Once I place red probe on jack. It's about 7 ohm. Now I place black probe on jack. It means that short circuit is solved. Now I want to check 1.05 volt. Yes, short circuit is solved in here as well. Ohm was completely zero before removing CPU and it was completely short. And in this way, it's about 4.5 to 5 ohm. Well, if I plug adapter in this situation, voltages will be present. I'll show it to you. I'm checking 3.3 volt now. And this is 5 volt. And this is 1.05 volt SUS. Voltage is not present in the part which had short circuit, because this is 1.05 VS, which will be present after system is turned on, and as CPU is removed from circuit, motherboard can't turn on. So all short circuits are solved, right? Yes, they are solved. The thing I should do now is to check if short circuit is because of balls, or CPU itself. 
For doing that, I should detect CPU pins. So I'll check the board view of CPU first. As new generation CPUs are expensive, it's very important to detect the problem. If it's CPU or other blocks, we produced this video to show you how to distinguish the problem. Whether it's motherboard or chip is damaged. This is board view of motherboard. As you see, these are graphic chip and CPU. And this is 3.3 volt PWM circuit. And these are 3.3 and 5 volt coils. And I checked this jack. PJP8102 jack is for 3 volt. Let me click on the downer pin which is the output and find the related pin on CPU which had short circuit. This yellow mark is related to the pin which is under CPU and has short circuit. I should say that, we checked the yellow marks near CPU before, and they didn't have short circuit. This VCCDSW3 pin is pin of 3 volt, which enters CPU, and the short circuit is solved on PCB. I want to see if CPU's internal circuits have short circuit or not. As you see, there are many VSS pins in here. All the VSS pins are GND pins. By checking ohm of this pin with either of these pins, we can find out if the short circuit is internal, or it is because of CPU pins balls. I tightly put chip on the clamp and I'll show the pin which I'm going to test. This is the pin. This is pin of 3 volt. It is VCC pin or 3 volt. And all of these pins are GND pins. It has short circuit completely. I reverse the probes to make sure. This is the 3 volt pin on chip. And this is GND. It is less than 1 ohm. So this means that CPU has short circuit completely. We can also test 1.05 volt pins. Let's check another pin. I should say that I checked these pins before. These VCC HSI 01, 03, and VCC CLK1. VCC CLK2 are all connected to 1.05 and they have short circuit. I'll check one of the pins. Let me click on it so we'll know where it is connected to. These pins are connected to each other. You can see it in here as well. They are connected to 1.05 VS internal voltage of CPU. I checked these pins before removing CPU. They had short circuit. The pins are placed in this part. These three pins are most probably the pins. Yes, as you see ohm is completely zero. These three are the pins. I check the next pin as well. And also check the third pin. All of them have short circuit. Internal circuits of PCH block of this chip are completely shorted. So this CPU is damaged. And we should change it. So at first I assumed that it's because of CPU pin balls but it's not. And I should say that CPU has failed, and reballing would be useless. So we're not going to waste our time reballing CPU pins. Thanks for watching Smiley Face.